got the system. There's construction materials flying in. We went into Little Miss Nabby this morning. This is our load of gear for um, two nights. <laughs> anyway, can you make space on the... Oh, it's already on. Never mind. That's it. He doesn't look too happy. He's still he's still tired. That's a ridiculous amount of gear right there for two nights, buddy. Yeah. For there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it weigh? I don't know. Uh, 276 pounds. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll, though. <laughs> Looks like it's finally go time. Life jacket? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Your life jacket's on the inside. Get it up over your head. Strap the waistband around your waist while you're inside the plane. Then get out. As soon as you're out, there's two pull tabs. Should auto inflate you. Bottom right, bottom left. If they do not auto inflate you, you get to be the auto inflator with the blow tube. Okay, guys? Got it. That's the life jacket show. Thank, Thank you. you. That is the life jacket that show. Is my life jacket show. Yeah. It's go time. We have in the left seats. Oh, Ready to on the left. Ready to go, boys? Yeah, you Let's go. go. Let's do it. I'm I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. We'll put this one in, and you can decide which one you'd rather. <laughs> he is fine. There they go. This is a super short trip. Plane is off. This is a short trip. So it's trip over for two days. But uh, we are here at Little Miss Abbey Lake. And it's a beautiful day. I am here with my son, Brendan. We just flew into Little Missinabi Lake with Airedale Fishing and Hunting out of Wawa. It's the shortest fly-in trip ever. We haven't quite started yet. It's like only two nights. We just live two hours south of here now, so we came up for the weekend. And uh, right now we have glorious weather. We're gonna go out shortly, but. We're just heading out now. I mean, it's shockingly warm, right? Brendan's about to have a stroke. <laughs> it's uh. It's warm, but uh, anyway, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. We only have today and tomorrow to fish, so. I'm gonna go straight to my spot where I caught them here in September. So it's a little bit of a boat ride, but anyway, it should be fun. It's gonna be fun even if we don't catch fish. He's praying to the fish gods right now. Yep. Right. It, the only, yeah, just like pray to me, buddy, because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna lead you to them. So, let's do it.
we're at my spot from like a few falls ago when I was here in September and uh, we did really really well conditions are a little bit different but anyway we will find out fairly shortly whether there's fish to be caught here first fish of the first fish of the trip doesn't matter let's see what we got going on here the dinkiest pike ever seen here. Dinkiest pike ever? Yeah. Yep. No. We'll see. Yep. Little pike. Hey, it's a start. Right on. We have determined the presence of a fish. I thought it was a walleye for sure. Oh, another little snake. Not what we're looking for right now. Anyway, good start. We moved. We had to move because we really didn't get anything at the first spot. This is a pretty nice walleye actually. This is just a big wide flat, seven feet deep. Brendan's like cabbage dad. It looks like it does look like a pike spot. I did catch walleye. Here. Jig this, yeah. I caught walleye here before, and they're they are still here. Yes, indeed. Like shallow muck bottom with cabbage, seven feet deep. Not bad, nice chunky little guy. I don't know if we're gonna. We might keep this guy. Oh, what time is it? <laughs> yeah. Time for a fish fry. Uh, I'd say through. Back. That's some confidence right there behind the camera. All right, anyway, let's get a picture. We'll throw it back. All right, Brendan. Brendan's up to bat here. That wasn't a very long video. I guess we're keeping fish now, are we, bud? Yep. Let me get a picture, please. So, right in this flat, this weed flat. Just working around these weeds. I gotta move the boat a little bit. It's fine, it's fine. Just a second. Another one in the weeds. Actually, you know what? It's not a bad fish. It's bizarre because the water surface temperature is like 70. It's averaging 70, anywhere from like 69 to 72. I got 70.2 right here. It's crazy. Crazy, this chunky guy. We're gonna keep this guy. Very nice. Nothing wrong with that. I'll move the boat around. Anyway, we're on to something here. Just a perfect little afternoon, eh, Bren? Evening. Yeah, it's actually a perfect evening. We got a beautiful sunset going on here right now. We kept a few fish. I'm cooking them up right now. The gulls are watching. They're right there. It's a really nice setup here, this camp. I like it a lot. Beer battered fish. Yep. Looking good. It's like literally perfect out here. It's nice and cool. There's, it's 20 million degrees inside because I had the oven on to make the fries. But anyway, beer battered walleye and fries. Hot. Super hot. <gasps> awesome, it's just beautiful. What a perfect evening. Absolutely incredible. We don't really have a whole lot of time here at Little Missing Abbey. But we're enjoying the short time that we do have. <coughs> so this is a big, giant improvement. The solar lighting. It's so nice and bright in here. We got a fan going. I think Brendan, there he is. Actually, I got sheets for the uh, beds. He's going to make the beds now. Anyway, that's what we'll do now. Been a long day. Well, I was up early. It's 
supposed to start raining today, I think, in about an hour. Rain all day. Brandon's like very quiet. He doesn't say much in the morning. <laughs> We're going to go out in a little bit and uh, get some walleye. We have a beautiful morning to start, at least. Just loading the boat. Got a bucket here. We're going to try and keep some fish. This is really our only full day to fish. We fly out tomorrow morning. So, Brendan wants to bring some home. Shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. The lake's full of walleye. It's a glorious sunrise here this morning. It's such a beautiful spot on this island. All right. Now I'm just waiting for the kid. Not a bad start, we just got here. We don't know if it's a walleye or a pike. What is it? It is a little snake. Perfect. Not what we're looking for. Oh, and it totally, totally inhaled my jig. That's nice. Do you want me to turn it off? No. That is awesome. I think this is a walleye. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, feisty walleye. Mm. Awesome. Good start. So we're allowed four, only one of which can be over 18. That's actually a perfect fish right there. Anyway, it's a good start. All right, cool. Let's get more. one came back several times. Aggressive walleye. Pretty sure it's a walleye. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice chunky guy. Pearl or white with a pink head. It's like the go-to for me anyway. Bacon and eggs for walleye. Very nice. That's a better one. That's an eater. Well, they're all eaters, but I think this is like the one 18 plus that we're allowed to keep. Yeah, cool. All right, buddy. I just moved a little further down the lake. There's a big patch of reeds. I don't know if the camera can pick it up there. All right, just adjacent to it. And anyway, I got one. Oh, they're one of the unlucky ones. Another eater walleye. I had uh, it's trolling up to make another drift up past this clump of reeds, and I had like three. They're not fighting savagely, but there's fish here. The graph is actually lit with fish right here at the at the head of the of the upwind side of the reeds. So I'm pretty sure this is a pretty good spot. Oh, four more. One more for the bucket of doom. shallow here. There it is. There was another one right there. You can not controlling with these little swim baits. Pretty deadly. Back. There's another one. Right at the head of the reeds. Almost a double header. Close, but no cigar. Another nice chunky eater right in front of the reed bed. Right on. Yes, that's how we do it. Oh, 
I'll get a get a quick pick. Actually. Very good. Okay, next. On a stick bait. That a boy. So Miss you get a treble in the hand. Yeah. You really don't need it's uh, yeah, that's right in the pants. No, yeah, it was good. That's what you get for being careless. There you go. Watch your hand. That's you might want to use those players right in front of you. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, we'll add them to the bucket. Perfect. We're almost at our limit, and we're just going to fish for fun. We got two more to go. Or one more if I land this one. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, come here. It's, perfect, around here. it's a literally perfect size, exactly what we're looking for, like under 18 inches. It's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, come here, beauty. Perfect. One more. Okay, cool. Here, we'll grab one, grab a pick. Brendan just got slammed. Crankbait? Yeah. They're, they're super aggressive. He thought it was a pike at first, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be more careful. Yeah, yeah, don't candy can the $250 rod. <clears throat> nice, I'll get a little picture of that guy. Nice slam. Perfect eaters. There you go. That's a nice picture. You're actually smiling. Very nice. Good. Are we gonna put that one in the bucket, last one? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Here, I'll grab it. I think that's the last one. This haul. We're gonna be, uh, well, we're gonna bring those fish home. They're our take home fish. Fun. I think we might go out later, but maybe not. Like, it's started to rain, like, pretty heavy here now. So, fortunately, we have the fish we need. We're going to head back to the cabin, I think. Clean them up. Short but successful flying trip. but sweet. Grab the middle of the boat, maybe, otherwise it's... Okay. Right. Cool. Brendan, he's cleaning walleyes for the first time ever. Let's go have a look. Maybe not the first time. First time he's cleaned walleyes with me, at least. Not too bad. <laughs> no. He's got a beer going while he's filleting fish. A little fish cleaning session going on here. Not looking too bad there, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Take home fish.
Looks like our ride is here. A little foggy this morning, but she cleared up, eh, buddy? Beautiful, yeah. <clears throat> Good trip. Gorgeous day. Gorgeous day today. Super right is here. Short trip, eh, buddy? Yeah. 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 I think there's a group of six flying in here. Alright, until next time. Gonna finish up. <laughs>